Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Knasty3890 here with another MLB 15 The Show video. Um, we're going to be talking about cards that you should be investing in, as in players are going to be improving throughout the year. Um, as you guys know, in MLB Diamond Dynasty, cards improve throughout the year or get worse. So basically every Monday, MLB updates their rosters, and if someone has a good week, a couple weeks, their ratings improve, not just in their normal online rosters, but for Diamond Dynasty as well. Um, case in point, Henry Ramirez started off as an 86, he's now a 91. He had 10 home runs in April, so now he's a 91. Harper, what I think was an 84, he's now an 87, um, so on and so forth. I know there's other examples I will go through, um, but we're going to be talking about cards that you should buy now before they become expensive. Um, and then either you can have the card that's going to be like a gold card, or you can sell it off. It's really up to you. Um, so we'll be going through about 15 different cards that I think will definitely improve based on their young player that's really starting to come into themselves, uh, a guy who was just underrated at the beginning of the year who's having a good start, who I think will continue it. I mean, there's people who have had good starts who I don't really trust. I think it's just kind of uh, they've been getting lucky. That's a small sample size or whatnot, but there are players who I think are having good starts who will continue them. So we're gonna start. We're gonna start in Boston, my my team. But I, I mean, I watch them every game, so I know I kind of know which players suck and which players are pretty good. Um, I wouldn't touch really any of the pitchers on the Red Sox. Um, but Mookie Betts, for instance, last night he hit two home runs. He's our leadoff guy. Great defensive guy. Great speed. Has power, can hit for average. Not yet this year, but he's hit the ball hard. Like his bad whip is great. He's gonna be. He's gonna hit for a solid average. He's gonna get on base. Plays great defense and he can run. For a four-tool player, he just doesn't really have the greatest arm. It's the only thing he doesn't have to be a five-tool player. But he's gonna have a. I guarantee he'll have a gold card by the end of the year unless he gets injured. Right now he's a 79. I have two of them. I'll buy and just buy a bunch of them, and then I can just sell them off. But. Another, that's just the guy who I, I'm, I'm extremely high on Mookie Betts. Another guy on the Red Sox, mostly because he's in the minors right now, but I know that's not going to last, is Rusni Castillo. Uh, the Cuban import last year signed for $70 million last August. He's in AAA right now because Shane Victorino, this Shane Victorino, is older. Therefore, he got the starting position in right field. He didn't really deserve it. He's injured. Rusni's in AAA. He was coming back from concussion. He's been playing better recently. He'll get called up. Most likely in a week or two, he will. He can hit, and he can run. Defense is a little suspect. He has a good arm, um, but he can hit. He's got power. He's 27, so he's not like a young guy, but really dynamic player. He'll have a silver card, and probably like a mid 80s card. So if you want a guy later on in the year, that's definitely a possibility. Um, so there's a couple players on the Red Sox. We're going to be going to Tampa Bay next. We're going to talk about a pitcher who they got, Tampa got, in the trade for David Price. I have, to, I have to buy him, I haven't bought him yet, but it's Drew Smiley. Uh, he's been pitching really well this year. Um, and he's, I mean, he's just kind of like a, one of those crafty lefties. He doesn't really throw hard. He just can locate. Um, he, he has a good curve, good change up, that type of stuff. Keeps the hitters off balance. He's a solid player. He's, what, 25? Yeah, so he's young still. He, I really like him a lot. Um... And in Tampa, they churn out pitchers all the time. So he's going to pitch. So he's going to have good stats. He'll definitely be an upgraded card. Not sure if I'll ever reach a gold status, like around an 85, 86. But he'll definitely be like an 84, maybe maybe an 85. But that he's a solid pitcher. If you guys like lefties, like keeping hitters off balance, I personally do. I'll probably pick him up once he gets an upgraded card, which I think will be soon. And just enough FYI, guys, once you have the card, if I have this Desmond Jensen is a 78 and he just goes off, and becomes an, like a, an 82, that 78 becomes an 82. You don't have to go buy a new card. You have the same card. So that's what I'm saying. Invest, get these cards now if you like them. Next, we're going to be going to Kansas City, who it's an underrated silver card, who I think will have a gold card, is Salvador Perez. Um, He does go for a little bit of coins because he can't hit. Personally, I don't need him as my catcher right now, Um, but I know the guy can hit. The guy's great at defense. Um. He's only 24, but he's been in the league for three years. I mean, he got I mean, he has a, already has his contract. He's been, in real life, he's been paid. Um, but I really like him as a player. Really, I mean, I think he's the leader of that team, and he's just he's a great player. And I think that I mean his stat, he may not have the most eye popping stats, which may not inf bring up his rating a lot. But he does everything out so well. He's just a, like a really great player. But for fantasy stats, he's not great. He may hit for average, but overall, in general, he's a great. 
defensive and slot offensive catcher. And I believe he'll have a gold card shortly. So if you want a catcher, and those are hard to find, Salvador Perez is not a bad option. Um, next, we're going to go to Oakland. One of the best pitchers this year that no one's talked about is Scott Kazmir. His ERA is under two this year. He's pitching in Oakland. Oakland's a great pitcher's ballpark. Kind of like Tampa, they turn out pitchers. But he'll probably get traded um, if unless Oakland turns it around. Um... I know the, I know there's a lot of teams interested in him, which may hurt, especially if he goes to like an American League East team. I know the Red Sox, I know the Yankees have had talks already. I, I mean, for his value, you hope he stays in Oakland or maybe goes to like a San Francisco or San Diego. Those are pitcher-friendly ballparks, pitcher-friendly divisions, really. Um, but he's he's gonna have a goal, he'll have a gold card maybe next Monday. Um, so that's definitely a guy I would really focus on. The next card we're gonna do is. Actually, a gold card, but I think he's going to be a diamond soon. So if you want a diamond, Nelson Cruz. 88 overall Nelson Cruz. 14 home runs in 26 games. 14 home runs in 26 games. That's like Barry Bonds-like. So he's not going to keep it up. I mean, you know he's not going to keep it up. But they're going to they're gonna really boost his stats up. He's gonna, I mean, that power should be like 98, 97, 98. Bring up that contact a little bit. Um... He's a, his vision, I'm surprised that low. He has a pretty good eye at the plate. Um, but he's definitely going to get an upgraded card. I think he'll be a diamond. I think he'll probably be like around a low mid-90s. Like I think he'll be like a 92 to 94. So buy him now before he goes up. Or if you, I mean, the the the, uh, the other side of that argument is, I mean, if you don't expect him to keep up his value, like his pace, which I don't, and you don't think MLB will upgrade his ratings, then you could sell him now, thinking other people will. So you can kind of use it to your advantage. I think they're going to bring up his ratings. So if you have, if you want a power hitting right fielder, go get him. Um, I don't have him on my team because I'll sh show you guys next. The guy who I have, Bryce Harper, who started off as an 84. He's now an 87. And today, today is May 6th. He hit three home runs at least. Last I know in the game, he hit three home runs in his first three at-bats. He's been hitting really well this year. And that power is going to be going up. I mean, he's only 22. He his card is going to he'll be in 90 soon. He I mean he's and people would say he's overrated. He's not overrated. People just hate him because he doesn't run hard to first or he showboats, which I don't care. Just some old school baseball players do. I know a lot of younger guys like my age or younger really like Bryce Harper. Unless you're a fan of like the Mets or the Phillies or someone in their division, the Braves, you may not like him. But other than that, people I don't know why you wouldn't like Bryce Harper. He's he's great. He's not as good as Trout, obviously, but he's still great, and he'll have an upgraded card sh soon, so I'm pretty stoked because guy can hit. He can hit in this game, too. Next, we're going to the New York Mets. Um, one of my favorite players <laughs> to watch. Like, I literally will watch. I don't watch New York Mets games unless Bartolo Colon is pitching. A, look how fat he is. Actually, I wonder if they even they haven't updated his batting stats. Yeah, he can hit. He's hit this year. He's had a couple RBIs, but he's been pitching really well this year for his age, especially. Um, let's see, there's his attributes. I mean, he's got great control. Not the, he probably throws around 91, 92 in this. He's mostly a fastball pitcher, right lefty. You see two seamer and four seamer, that's what he throws. But he's got great control, so if you want, if you're good with painting corners, mixing it up, he's a good right-handed pitcher to get. He's an 82 right now, he'll go up to around an 84, 85, 86, pushing right on that goal, I think. If he keeps it up, that's tough at his age, but I think he'll keep it up if he's healthy. And that's definitely an option if you kind of want a right-handed pitcher that people aren't really used to who can just locate. Uh, we're going to be going to the Cubs next for a couple. These are a couple of young prospects you guys have all heard of. Uh, actually, Anthony Rizzo was an 84. I sold him. Now he's an 86. So I kind of feel bad for selling him. But, and he was great for me, too. But we're moving on. We're going to be looking at Jorge Soler, right fielder. Um, he's got his power right now is at 69.74. He's it's gonna be going up. I mean the guy's beast. He's 6'4, 215. He's from Cuba. Guy can rake. Quick bat. Incredibly fast bat uh speed. I mean a lot of people may not have heard of him. You know of him, but you don't know a lot about him. He's he's legit he's a legit prospect. He's gonna be getting a gold card this year. Alongside another guy on the team, which you guys have probably all have heard of, is Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant, number one prospect coming into the year. Um his on base percentage right now is like four sixty. I don't think he has a home run yet. That's going to change, but his on-base percentage is insane. He can get on-base. So that's going to help his discipline, his vision, 
Um, and I think his average is going to be going up and his power will be going up. So, I mean, if you're, and those are good enough on those check swings outside. But he's really good. He's a really good third baseman already. I mean, they, they kind of shot him on his defense. He's a really solid defensive third baseman. He should be higher than that. He's not going to be a liability. I would definitely pick him up if you don't like a third baseman. Mine's Manny Machado. I love his defense. That's why I use him. Um, cause I always try to get ground balls on the left side of the defense. I want... The left side of my infield, excuse me, I want defense. I got him, I got Angelton Simmons. Those are my guys on the left side. Next, we're going to be going to the Cincinnati Reds. Um, another third baseman, Todd Frazier. Legit power out of third base. He's 29. He's kind of finally... Not finally, because he's still re relatively young. But he's, he's figured it out. He's figured baseball out, I would say. Uh, legit power, legit contact. Not the best fielder. That's why I recommend for my team, I use Machado because I want the defense. But he's a better hitter. His stats are going to be going up. He's going to have a gold card any week. So if you want a guy who's a silver, who's going to be a gold at third base. Todd Frazier for your Cincinnati Reds. Definitely looking to picking him up. Um, so we got a couple left. We're going to go to another Cuban... I'm gonna buy him another Cuban export. Yes, Manny Tomas. Third, another third baseman. I didn't know I had so many third baseman, but you can also play outfield, so you got that going for you. Uh, just got called up uh, probably a week and a half ago. I'm not sure how long he'll be staying up in the majors, but he's 24. He's not kind of like, I mean, Yohan Makata was signed as a free agent from Cuba. He was 19. Even Puig, when he was signed, I think he was 20 or 21. He started the year in the minors, too. But yes, Manny is already 24, so he's age wise, he's there. 6'2", 230, his body is there. If he can stay healthy, if he produces, he's going to be a legit bat. No one can argue that he can't hit. So he's going to be a guy, if you want to invest in him, you should see right there in the top left, his potential is A. He's a legit prospect. I really like him. kind of wish my Red Sox got him. But Arizona got him. They're, they won't be uh, upset with him at all. Uh, I think they see Yasiel Puig 19 times a year, and they realize they want that guy on their team. So they got Tomas. I like him a lot. Um, we got one more player. Um, he's on the Los Angeles Dodgers. Jock Peterson, Peterson, excuse me. Uh, he's a center fielder. I mean, you can see right there. Left-handed center fielder. He can play all outfields, but look at that power. He's 22 years old. Really solid fielder. His speed's going to go up. He's He can get, in real life, he's going to get 20 stolen bases a year. So that speed should go up a little bit. Power is there. Average. He's only going to get better. Once Crawford becomes Carl Crawford again, which will be soon, Jock's going to get a lot more playing time than he already has. He's going to get a gold card. Would not worry about him and his stats. He's going to deliver. I love that guy. Um, Make sure you pick him up. I have him. I don't use him, but I have him. And, and once he gets a gold, I'm going to look at my team. If he looks like he's good to fit, I'll put him in. If not, still that bad boy. But, I mean, that's what you guys should do. If you're not sure on um, position, or even if you want to try new players throughout the year, Get these younger guys, or people I've been talking about in this video, is like bronze or silvers. It's an investment. You wait, you buy it, you wait. You may make three times your value when once they become a gold card. People want that. You bought it for 200 today, and you can sell it for a thousand in a month. Um, you know, you may be saying, "Well, I don't care what happens in June." Well, hey, you know what? June will happen. It, you'll you'll reach June, and then you'll be like, "Man, I wish I had that extra thousand. So that's definitely something you guys should do. Invest in these cards. Um, so in the comments, guys, why don't you let me know, are there any other cards that you think will be getting upgrades? And kind of tell me why. And uh, maybe I'll make a second version of video going over the cards you got or any other ones I got I can think of. Um, make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it or if you think this helped you. Um, subscribe if you are new, guys. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.